Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up an online study with SciToolkit. I will not go into all the details, I just want to show you how quickly you can do it. So, on, you go to the main website, and on the main website there is, here in the menu of the things of the website, you can select web-based login. That takes you to the place on the main website where the login screen entry is. Uh, you click there and then you come to the login screen. Now you need to have registered an account. You can do that if you don't have one, register a new account. If you have one, type your email address that you registered with here. I uh, use this demonstration one john at university.edu and my password um, you know um, so and then we log in and the first thing that you will see is a reminder that you need to uh, absolutely must cite the two side toolkit articles when you uh, write the report or whether you write a research study now then on the left you see a menu with all the things that you can do um, let's create a new survey, uh, create new survey, let's call it uh, my survey. Now you can have multiple surveys in your site toolkit account. Um, I already had one test survey, I've now created a new survey, my survey. And what you then see is the scripting language that is be that you can use to program your uh, your online survey. It comes with two demonstration questions and we, we're going to use these now for this uh, sample. Um, but in reality you don't want to use this, you can delete them. Uh, there is a scripting language option, so that is, that's quite nice because it's a very uh, quick way to, to copy and paste questions for example. But when you're new to it or if you have many new questions, the easy mode might be somewhat easier. Um, what you see is, uh, you know, it has for every question a label, which is an identifier, the type of question, and the text, the main text. Um, let's have a quick look at one of these questions. Let's have a look, for example, at the first question here. Um, it's called, the label is example question one, that's just an identifier. It is a radio question that is a question that is essentially a multiple choice question in which you can only choose one answer. The question, Q colon, uh, says the, what the question is, which of the following foods do you like best? And then it gives you four options. Now I will show you how you can run this online. So if you go down a little bit, um, there is the option compile test survey. Um, there are advanced options that you will not see if you just registered. You can select in the settings to see those. I won't go into that. Um, you click compile and compile creates your survey so that the computer can do something with it. It says your survey was compiled successfully. Now you want to make your survey online. So you go a little bit more further down. Online offline survey status. Here you say the sur you, you select survey is online so for when you're still designing it uh, you change the survey status with this button and now voila there you get a url that people can click you can click it yourself so let's do that and then you see um you know in information screen um you can then, uh, you know, you can look at your questions. Uh, the question that we just worked on, which of the following foods do you like best? Um, you know, say rice, click button to continue, and so on. Now, I'm going to close this tab, and I'm going to back to my survey. Now, this is just example. How about we delete this? Uh, I just select it and press the backspace button, uh, and I save it again. So now I have nothing in my survey. Now I'm going to show you how I can quickly copy and paste something from the survey library. There's a survey library inside toolkit. I click this button. Uh, there are many uh, ready-to-use surveys, uh, more than a hundred. I'm going to take just one. Um, 
lots of information. I'm going to take a common one, uh, the 10 item personality inventory. Um, you know, for every of these scales, uh, you can copy and paste uh, your code. So I'm going to copy all this site toolkit uh, scripting code. I'm saying copy. I go back to my uh, my script here that I had deleted, I copy and paste. So now I have a new site toolkit survey script entered. Yeah, looks complicated if you see it for the first time. Uh, I save it. You know, if you're you know, you can learn how it works. It is not as difficult as it looks like. If it if you want an easier way of dealing with it, you can go to the easy mode. That's even easier. Um, if you go back to the regular overview, you can compile this and uh, go down. It is still online and you can uh, click this to run this survey. And then people get, you know, like a typical um, sort of Likert scale uh, questionnaire. I'm going to close this tab. I'm going back here to my survey. Uh, so that there you have it. Uh, you can send out this link to people and you can send it by email, Facebook, Twitter or whatever social media you use. You can put it on Sona system if you have that in your university and people can use it. Now, I should say there's you, you typically want to create an introduction screen, an information screen. There are all sorts of options. You can select different languages. Um, you can diff There are different themes. There is uh, information about the survey, your ethics information, and so on. I browse through it now. That goes on quite a bit. There are many things. It's designed specifically for psychological, psychological research or for social sciences research. There are ways to download and analyze the data. So that is that. Um, a final thing. So some cognitive psychologists would like to uh, include an experiment that's very easy to do. Let's say after this serve, after this uh, personality survey, we want to add another question. You can enter that here in the scripting language. Now, if you don't know how that works yet, you might say, "Well, how about using the easy mode?" If you're going in the easy mode, um, again, it's intuitive. Play around with how it works. At the end, I add a question here. Type this plus. Um, you get an overview of all different types of items that you can use in a survey. For this, I would use an experiment. Then, you know, there are all sorts of options that you can enter. You can select one of the experiments. Site Toolkit, your Site Toolkit account comes with an example experiment. So I select that one. I say save the question. And now, uh, if I go back to the regular overview, and I look at the end of my survey, I see I have this new item here. And if I would, I need to recompile it then when I've added something, um, you know, there, there's some more information, but basically you can send people this link now and you can then even collect reaction time data. So I hope that that overview gives you an idea of what you can do with Satoke and how quickly you can set up your online study. Uh, once you're done, log out and uh, that's it. If you want to know more, go to the main website. Uh, there is lots of uh, documentation, including video tutorials on how to do these things.